Hey, it's Jet Lee with 98.7 WNNS, that is. And usually, whenever uh, we're out here with Coach Hay at Chatham High School, it is for WMAY for the football games. And this week's a little bit different. As you see, I'm in my pink. I'm one of the real men that wear pink for the American Cancer Society. And uh, it, it's a special treat every year because I always go out into the community and I look for people that have either had to battle it or know people that have had to battle it. And uh, whenever I heard that uh, Coach Hay's wife um, had a fight or fights uh, as if I understand correctly then I just had to reach out and I just thank you coach Hay and, and your wife Jane for taking the time to, to speak with us about this we really appreciate it and so uh, I guess what I want to start with is in the beginning for you coach um, as a support system right because I'm going to get to Jane and ask her this question but as a support system when you you hear that your wife has cancer what's the first thing that kind of goes through your mind I was sitting in an athletic director's office and we were uh talking about something um, and it seemed kind of important at the time yeah. um, it didn't right after that so I don't even know what it was now yeah. so um, you just you just go to work and start working on the problem that's how I felt about it um, just go ahead and, and, and do whatever they had to do uh, to, to get her back you know, she had the tougher fight than I did Absolutely. Uh, I had to just go get her back and, and be uh, be her assistant coach yeah. um, and go <laughs> do whatever I needed to do to, to, to make the right things happen now if we could you know pass the mic over to, to Miss Jane Hay and which real quick I'd like to you are so all right let me get this right jane hay sales and staging is the official at the real estate group you guys are the official scoreboard sponsor of glenwood titans football on friday night yep and so um real quick i want to get you know whenever you heard th those words you know you have cancer you've been i don't know how they say it but like what i mean if you can put into words what how does it make you feel so well it was it was kind of a shock obviously i just went in for a regular appointment and i knew that i had a little bit of something going on but hadn't really talked much about it with david and um when i went to the appointment then they said you know something we need to check out and then we we did it all that day so they actually did um the biopsy that day and so it was kind of like i called them and said well i I have think I have cancer, so it was really a huge shock. But you know, we're we're, we're tough, and so we're like, okay, what do we need to do to get through it? So, and that's kind of where where we go. So Absolutely, create a plan and move on. And so, if I understand correct, through talking to people, do you have two fights with? I've had three. three. Um, I've had two fights. Um, one, I've had cancer three times now. I had breast cancer in 2018, um, and I had a squamous skin cancer in 20. 20 and that was just a took it out in 44 stitches uh, here in my chest and then um, I had a melanoma cancer in 2021 that had spread to my lungs and they had been watching that from breast cancer and so there was a little spot in the lung um, and um, so yeah so I'm just one of those lucky people keep yeah. keep drawing the short stick or straw <laughs> but you keep fighting and, oh yeah and, and, and you yep. know and we're we're uh, clear uh, free uh, clear yes. scans good good, good. um so um, been a good fight and um you know bring it on again and we'll take it again i hear you mrs so. hey and, and so coach i want to ask you now um you know you've got to maintain yourself you know you still have a bunch of kids that you got to come out here and, and coach every day to be better you know how what if you could offer any advice to someone out there in your position who's watching somebody go through this got to be a support system at home but still go out into the world what are some i guess some tools some resources or kind of how did you handle it how could you well, I, I, you know, dealing with the team, you know, you certainly understand that there's bigger things uh, than football. Mm -hmm. um, and, I, we, and we're coaching the kids, we want to win every game we can win and play as well as we can. But ultimately, what we're hoping to uh, send out of this program is good people and having an understanding of, uh, of, of working hard and dealing with adversity. And, and you learn those lessons in all in sport. That's why we do this thing. You know, these guys aren't going to the NFL. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's, this isn't going to be a lifelong thing. Um, it's going to be the life lessons that you learn and sort of as things come up in your your own life you know you try to uh, relate those to the kids as well <laughs> absolutely um so this week's game is a very special one in that uh this one is uh there's a very special slogan that you guys use but uh this friday night is it's going to be in full effect titans fight together can i'll let either of you take it away kind of explain what's going on at the game and uh yeah. well yeah as we were going through this starting in 2018 uh what we also also recognized was there's a lot of people doing a lot of a lot of fighting in sure. a lot of different areas multiple types of cancer for example that we've now seen three of um 
the uh, the idea, you know, you're getting a lot of the, the, the pink outs and the stuff. And what I would begin to see is kids are wearing pink to wear pink. They were wearing, you know, they went out and got the fancy pink gloves and they got the wristbands and got the things. They didn't really know what, it wasn't really awareness anymore. It was just kind of cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, so what we try to do is expand that that uh, focus to all kinds of fights and get them to and really be a teaching thing. We're an educational institution and really making it a teaching point that there's a lot of people battling, battling things out there and we need to respect that. And so we tried to widen that scope and look at all those things was the idea behind uh, Titans Fight Together. Right on, right on. NFL's doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's get Coach Hayes cut, all right? <laughs> Mrs. Hay, if I could ask you, you know, this kind of same question for him as somebody directly going through this, what is a piece of advice? Are there any resources that you can offer people that can just kind of help them out going through this? Sure. I mean, everyone obviously deals with, um, you know, this type of situation differently. Some kind of hide in a corner and some are are more vocal. Um, You know, unfortunately, with me being a, a business owner, out there and my you know payroll depends on people knowing that I can help them and um, not you know worrying about me being sick um, I had to be very vocal so I mean my first um, we were in my office that afternoon after I found out and we were like okay what do we put you know uh, what do we put out on on Facebook you know because the the rumors were already starting um, actually, I think it was a couple of days after, but the rumors were already starting, you know, that I had stage four breast cancer and I didn't. Um, and so we were already hearing that. So it was kind of like, you know, we've got to we've got to be out there. We've got to be vocal. And, and um, my work family has been unbelievable. My family has been unbelievable. I've had great support. Um, and, um, you know, we just don't look back. Yeah. So always look forward. Well, last question that I have for you on that uh, Titans fight together is, you know, both of you. I mean, I know this community means a lot to you. We kind of hear it every week when we do the coaches interview. So um, Titans fight together. What does that what does the community of Chatham mean to you guys? Chatham's Chatham's everything. I mean, the people are, you know, whether you're Chatham or Springfield or around, I mean, people are important to us. um, And I think it's important for us to be leaders in the community. Um, And Chatham's been our home for 20, 25 years. We were pregnant with Brandon when we moved here. He's obviously been here for right at 30. Um, but so we've been involved in the, um, you know, Chatham School District for a long time. But, you know, the people that support us are amazing. The community is amazing. The kids are amazing. Um, and it's just, um, it, it does mean a lot. And I, I do want to mention that the boosters are going to be selling um, wristbands at the game, probably before the game, probably after the game. And so you're going to see some of that come around. Um, and then we're donating that pro- the proceeds to that. Um, uh, to Simmons Cancer Institute. So we'll awesome. be selling those at Friday night's game. So appreciate awesome. your support and coming oh, out. Absolutely. Well, hey, Titans stand strong together. And I tell you what, uh, I hope Mrs. Hay's story pushes you if you're on the fence about donating, getting involved with a fight, even if it's not just breast cancer. I hope this uh, helps you getting involved with, with any fight that you possibly can. So, Mr. and Mrs. Hay, we appreciate you guys joining us. Yeah. This is Jet Lee for 98.7 WNNS.